Side, they can get to it. Not here, above, they can get to it. Keep it here, away from the defense, okay? Another key point in detail is that you don't want to step to the side across from us because this doesn't help us. I'm not even balanced enough to be in a, a, an attacking position. Okay, step towards our defender, step across our defender's face, okay? We're gonna perform eight of those reps. Okay, keeping the shoulders square to the basket, that ball on the opposite hip, okay? Good. Also, very similar to the cross jab, is an over-the-top grip with a cross jab. So I bring this ball, bring it around my face as I'm stepping across. Okay, the reason for bringing it around my face is because my elbows then flare out, okay? So I take up space, so if that defender's crowding me, I can flare out these elbows, step into his body to create space, okay? So that's an over-the-top cross jab. And we're gonna do that same thing on the opposite side. So we're gonna use our left foot pivot, okay? And then we're also gonna end up using our right foot pivot. Okay, eight reps on both sides. Now we're gonna get into the Jordan pivot, all right, which is kind of like a spin pivot, okay? It's a, it's a counter off of the cross jab. So I step across my body, then from here, instead of facing back up to my defender, I'm literally gonna take this leg, spin it around, come back to a triple threat. Cross jab, spin it around, triple threat. Notice I keep my hips low, and the whole time I'm keeping the ball away from the defender. The ball is never exposed. <laughs> the ball <laughs> is never exposed, okay? So you're gonna do that on both sides using both pivots, okay? Using both pivots. All right, so now we're putting it to practice. We're gonna go side jab, one dribble, into a layup. Now we're getting into a cross jab to a layup. So I'm gonna step across my body, protect it, rip through to the middle, for a right hand layup. You're good. So again, we're gonna go cross shaft, step across, rip through right in front of us for a right hand layup. So now we're gonna go cross jab into a low rip. So I'm gonna cross jab, all right? And then I'm gonna face back up to the basket and I'm gonna rip this ball low underneath my hip, all right? My defender, his hands are active, okay? So I'm ripping this ball low to get his hands off of me. All right, and getting to the basket for a layup. You're gonna do that on both sides. All right, so now we're gonna go side jab, cross jab, rip through to the middle. We're gonna do that on both sides. All right, next scoring option. Okay, we're gonna triple threat. We're gonna cross jab. We're gonna face up, side jab, go back to the other way for a layup. So again, it's triple threat, triple threat. We step across our body, we face up, side jab, get to the basket for a layup. Next triple threat scoring option, we're going cross jab into a Jordan pivot, into a layup. So again, we're just adding the pieces together. Just adding the pieces together. Step across my body. I turn and spin towards the basket. Step through, one, two, leg. So now, hesitation scoring options. So now we're gonna go hesitation into a layup. All right, key point of emphasis on this is that we have to change speeds. We have to change speeds and change levels, okay? I go from slow to fast, okay? We can add the eyes and the offhand. We can add the eyes and the offhand to make this hesitation all the more effective. Oh! You're gonna do that. Go ahead and try that on both sides. All right, now we're going the same hesitation into a pro hop layup, okay? So our same hesitation, hesitation details, right? Slow, fast, I wanna land on two feet, 
to make sure I don't travel. And then from here, I can even add a pump fake to get the defender in the air. All right. So again, you're going to do this on both sides with the outside hand to start. Hesitation, two dribbles, pro hop for a layup. So now next in the scoring option off the hesitation, we're going to go hesitation, one dribble pull up. Okay. So just like the Braswell pull up we've been working on, one, two. It's the same thing, we're just adding it off the dribble instead of a triple threat. Okay, so it's hesitate, one dribble, pull up. Complete that on both sides. Next in the scoring series is a hesitation, two dribble, pull up. All right, it's very important when you're practicing this, whether you're at the wing, top of the key of the wing, that you're focused on getting into those scoring pockets. So what we mean by those scoring pockets are this short corner area here, all right, at the elbows here. I call them the pockets because they're pockets, no matter where the defense is playing a man to man or in zone, that we can get to off the dribble and get into our shot. So you want to make sure whether you're practicing it from the wing, two dribbles get to this pocket, doesn't matter if you're at the top of the key, boom, one, get to a pocket, get to one of those scoring pockets so you can get into your jump shot off the hesitation. So we're working on the hesitation. All right, so all you're going to do you're gonna take two dribbles at the waist. One, two, that third dribble, you're gonna let it hang in the air, okay? So you're gonna go waist, waist, let it hang. Waist, waist, let it hang. Waist, waist, let it hang. Notice as this ball comes up, I come up. As this ball's down, I'm down. So I'm rising and falling with the ball. All right, you're gonna complete that. The recommended amount of sets on both sides. Here, here, rise. Here, here, rise. We're going the same concept, two dribbles. On that third dribble, as the ball rises, that leg is gonna come up with us. Okay, so again, it's one, two, leg comes up. One, two, leg comes up. One, two, leg comes up. Notice I'm kind of bouncing off of that left foot. It's kind of like a skip, boom, skip. Yup, kind of bouncing off that left. It's like a double tap, boom, tap. The key to the hesitation is the higher this leg goes, the more exaggerated your hesitation is gonna be. So if this leg comes here, it's not gonna be as exaggerated, right? Whereas if this leg, notice that's a longer hang time. So the higher this leg goes, the more exaggerated that hang time is gonna be. Now it's just one dribble with the hesitation. So I'm gonna go one dribble, hesitate, step to the outside, cross, cross. One dribble, cross, cross. One dribble, cross, cross. So our hesitation details, right? That offhand is rising as our eyes are rising. So hand offhand, boom, boom. Eyes offhand, boom, boom. Eyes offhand, boom, boom. Notice even though I'm hesitating, this ball is not rising higher than my belly button. It's not coming all the way to the shoulder. It's staying put. I control the height of that dribble. I control the speed of that dribble. That one was too high. All right, complete that on both sides. All right. So the next one, still working on the hesitation, hanging it. Now we're gonna take a step forward and go between the legs and come back. Hang between the legs, come back. Keep on the emphasis, because we want to make sure, we want to make sure that when we take this step forward, that we're not literally going straight forward, because that's where our defender is going to be. We have to go at a slight angle to the side, as if we're trying to go past them. Okay, so notice how I have this staggered stance. You want to imagine like your legs are on skis. I've never skied before, but I would imagine that I'm not going to ski with both of my feet in one straight line. I'm going to have them at an angle to where I'm balanced on both legs, okay? So hesitate, step, step. Hang, step forward between the legs. All right, next step in the hesitation series is we're gonna go hesitation behind the back. Same thing, we gotta make sure we're stepping to the side, okay? We gotta make sure also on that behind the back that we bring this ball back in front of our body on that dribble. We don't wanna go behind the back and dribble behind our body, okay? Dribble in front of us, bring it behind, get it back in front of you. 
Okay, complete that on both sides. But next in the ball handling series is we're gonna go hesitation, cross, cross, between. Hesitation, cross, cross, between. Hesitation, cross, cross, between. Hesitation, cross, cross, between. All right, we're just adding a combo to it, okay? So full speed, and boom, boom, boom. So fast, fast, fast. So fast, fast, fast. So fast, fast, fast. So fast, fast, fast. So fast, fast, So now on the between the legs, cross, cross. We're taking that between the legs downhill forward, okay? So hesitation, cross, cross, pull. Hesitation, cross, cross, pull. Hesitation. Post moves, all right? First move we're working on is the drop step. We're gonna add a dribble with the drop step, okay? So first we gotta talk about our low post all right, fundamentals, okay? We typically wanna post up one step above the block, okay? The reason being is because if I step, if I post up on the block, when I drop step baseline, I'm behind the backboard, okay? If I take one step above the block, when I drop step baseline, I'm right here, perfect access to the glass. So we wanna make sure that we're one step above the block. Second detail is when we catch this ball, we don't wanna bring it at our waist because they can reach around it, they can poke at it. We actually wanna bring this up, okay? Notice when I bring this up, my elbows flare out a little bit. That adds me some protection so they can't, you know what I mean, they can't reach across my body, okay? So I wanna flare out, okay? Just like our Braswell ball handling, if the ball's in my left hand, my right leg has to step, all right? An easy way to remember it in the post, the direction that you wanna go, you want that foot to step, okay? So, if we're drop stepping to the baseline, which foot do I have to step? Which foot do I want to step, I should say? I wanna step with my right foot, okay? Boom, okay? So that's the first move is a drop step. Go up to yourself, catch it, one, two, go up with that left hand. Okay, you're gonna complete that on both sides. Catch it, chest it, drop step. Okay. All right, next scoring option. It's the same drop step, but we're gonna go to the middle. So again, once I catch it in the post, if I wanna go to the middle, the foot that's closest to the middle is gonna step. One, two, pro hop. So again, catch it, chest, one, two, little jump hook. All right, so now, next scoring option is we're going fake to the middle, drop step to the baseline. Keep on the emphasis, just like our jab step. All right, we wanna sell this shoulder fake. All right, when we catch it in the post, we haven't established a pivot foot just yet. All right, so we wanna just drop this shoulder here to make it look like we're gonna turn. One, two, go with the left hand, okay? So again, catch it in the post. We're gonna use this shoulder to sell the middle, sell the middle drive, sell the middle drop step, seal with that inside foot, lay up. All right, complete that on both sides. All right, now, if we did it one way, we gotta do it the other way, right? Catch it, fake baseline. Notice when I'm doing this fake, this ball is not coming outside of my body. I'm keeping it inside of my frame. I'm just dropping the shoulder. Fake baseline, drop set middle for a jump hook. All right, now we're gonna get into one of my personal favorites, our mid-range game, uh, the Braswell pull-up. So we have to teach you the fundamentals of the pull-up before we can get some moves uh, getting into that dribble pull-up. So first thing is, I'm gonna start off with my triple threat. All right, if the ball's in my right hand, this left foot's gonna step. Okay, so we're just gonna start triple threat. Going to the right, we're going one, two. All right, just taking two steps. All right, we're not shooting just yet. All right, you're just gonna go one, two, and get back to that triple threat. Your goal is to cover space with that one dribble and come to a quick stop. All right, being balanced, so you could jump up into your shot. Okay, so you're gonna perform this on both sides, all right? One, two, get into a shot. So, triple threat. One, two. All right, so we're gonna go 
Braswell two dribble pull up. So it's just a one dribble pull up done twice. One, two, one, two. Simple. I'm running to that spot. Remember those scoring spots that we talked about on the floor. I'm running to that spot. So I'm here. One, two, one, two. Okay, you're gonna perform that on both sides. Now I'm gonna let it fly. One, two, one, two. Let it fly. Now we're going triple threat um, with our dribble pull up option. So we're starting off triple threat. We're gonna go side jab, one dribble pull up. Okay? So again, I'm gonna triple threat. I'm gonna side jab, keeping that ball inside my frame. Bring that ball right across my body and get into that shot. Okay, so again, triple threat, side jab, one, two, one, two, shot. All right, now we're going Allen Iverson crossover scoring options. Okay, so we're building off of that hesitation. So I'm gonna hesitate, step to the outside, crossover, get to the paint for a layup. All right, so now we're gonna go that same Allen Iverson crossover into a dribble pull up, okay? So I'm coming down, hesitation, crossover, one dribble jump shot. So in order to pull this off, there's a concept called rolling with the crossover, all right? So what that means is when I cross over, I let the ball kind of roll in my hands as I step my feet through, right? On the last rep, we crossed over, boom, one, two, now we're crossing over, boom, one, two, dribble. Okay, so we roll with the crossover. So basically you just go with the cross, okay? Step, roll, push, shot. We're going off of that AI cross, two dribble pull-ups. Okay, so we're gonna cross, one, two, into a jump shot. Got him. All right, so again, we're gonna hesitate, step outside of their frame, roll with the cross, two dribble, pull up. Let's see it full speed one time. Then we're doing this on both sides. One, two, 